What's up YouTube? It's Tobo Trail, smoke on water. Smoking a 7LE 320. Smoking my favorite aromatic right now. It's uh, Boswell's uh, Pennsylvania Dose Treat. Uh, got some small packages of a bunch of different Boswell blends so I could try them out and uh, that one really surprised me it wasn't you know you know expecting very much from it more so than any of the other ones I expected a lot from because I heard a lot of good things about Boswell's but uh, the Pennsylvania Dose Treat immediately jumped out to me as the best of, of all of them uh, Christmas cookies very good uh, a lot of the Boswell blends are really nice but uh, but the Pennsylvania Dose Treat there's something about it it just it maintains its flavor all the way down through the bowl, uh, you know, and unlike just about any other aromatic I've tasted. It has a, a beautiful room note, note like most of the Boswell aromatics, but it also, it, it has a lot of flavor, which some aromatics uh, don't, you know. It's one of the biggest complaints about aromatics. They smell great to other people, but they just don't taste that good. This is a, a very nice tobacco. I found it does very well in the 320. It also does well in uh, Country Gentleman Corn Cobs. Uh, decent in a Nording freehand. But, uh, it's, a, it's a very good performing tobacco as long as you uh, sip it slowly and don't, uh, don't get it too hot. It'll uh, maintain its character pretty much all the way to the bottom of the bowl. It starts to fade in and out towards the end but what I noticed is other tobaccos fade out the Pennsylvania Dust Treat seems to fade out and come back fade out and then it jumps back so it keeps you keeps you uh, interested in it but uh, I'm, I really enjoy it I, I do smoke it with the filters I find the, the boss of filters keep uh, the smoke cool and uh, I guess I'm a semi-wet smoker, which surprised me because I'm a dry cigar smoker. Uh, keeps from any type of pipe burble. And it just seems to, to keep everything a little cooler. The, the balsa, balsa filters work very well. So for those of you who get them and just don't even try them, give them a shot with aromatics, for, especially with aromatics. And uh, you may be pleasantly surprised. But, uh, Two big thumbs up on the Pennsylvania Dust Treat. If you get a chance, order anything from Boswell's, definitely give that a shot. It's uh, supposedly a cherry style blend. I don't get a lot of uh, cherry flavor. My palate isn't sensitive enough to be able to pick out all the different nuances and all the different flavors, but I will tell you that it's a, it's a semi-sweet blend, not cloying, cloying sweet, but uh, it does have a nice, a pleasantly sweet taste. And uh, you know, and and it, it does have a lot of a lot of a uh, nice flavor. Um, you know, it doesn't taste like eating a cherry or anything like that. No, it, it's tobacco, but it uh, it's very very pleasant, nice room note, and uh, I think you'll enjoy it if you give it a shot. Definitely two thumbs up on the uh, on the Pennsylvania Dust Treat, and like I said, it's my number one aromatic uh, so far. Uh, we'll call it number one aromatic for 2012. It's 2013. Probably find some more stuff this year, but uh, uh, that's my semi-short review, short as I can make one on on the uh, Boswell's Pennsylvania Dust Treat. This is a uh, Tobo Trail. Smoke on the water.